talks in Fiji between Chinese Foreign Minister Mr. Wong He and leaders from small island nations, that is, the 10 small Pacific island nations, failed to reach an agreement. To this, the Western press is calling a high profile diplomatic setback for Beijing. But according to me, it is not. Hence, I say that the democratic world must be cautious. This is not the end of the game. This is just the beginning, mind it. Let me first tell you the background. There was a meeting in which Wang Yi, the foreign minister of China, met with leaders of 10 small Pacific island countries, Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, Kiribati, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, Micronesia, New, on China's regional security pact, which the small island nations rejected. Now, these are very thinly populated island nations. But if you combine their total land area, it might be larger than Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Burma, Nepal, all put together. Plus, they command huge special maritime zone. They are not only close to Hawaii, but also by using them as military base, China can prevent American supplies from Pacific and it can, it can also block America, Australian military if there is a conflict in Taiwan or in the South China Sea. So China is desperate to have them. Before the meeting, Chinese President Mr. Xi Jinping sent a message that China would be a good brother. They always talk all these things. Uh, even when in 1962 there was war between India and China, they used to call the slogan Indi Chini Bai Bai, means uh, Indian and Chinese are brothers. But what they did? They attacked India, they killed Indians. So before the meeting, Mr. Xi Jinping sent a message that China would be a good brother to the region and they shared a common destiny. These type of words they always use. So they, one should not go on their words. The proposed pact would see Beijing train Pacific Islands police. Now you can understand what kind of police they will train. We are seeing, looking at them in Hong Kong. We are looking uh, at their police in Xinjiang, in Tibet. So what kind of police they will train and make them a beast out of them, we can understand. Then it will also become involved in cyber security. That means it will be having data of each and everybody on those island nations. Then it will expand political ties, conduct sensitive maritime mapping and gain greater access to natural resources on land as well as in waters. Beijing is definitely offering them millions of dollars in financial assistance and these countries they are heavily dependent, dependent on tourism and after COVID-19 their financial backbones are broken. So Beijing is offering them millions of dollars in financial assistance as well as the free trade FTS, free trade agreements and also access to vast Chinese market of 1.4 billion people to appease them, to attract them. But it is being believed that Papua New Guinea, Samoa and Micronesia were among the countries who were concerned. And it's also believed that uh, the president of Micronesia Mr. David Penulu, he played a very important role and uh, according to a leaked letter last week, uh, he wrote to all the uh, nation, uh, state heads of these small nations in which uh, in the letter he said that the single most game changing proposed agreement in the Pacific in any of our lifetimes, he called it 
द सिंगल मोस्ट गेम चेंजिंग प्रपोज एग्रीमेंट इन द पेसिफिक इन एनी ऑफ अवर लाइफ टाइम्स ही फर्दर एडेड अबाउट इट दैट इट थ्रेटन्स टू ब्रिंग अ न्यू कोल्ड वॉर एरा एट बेस्ट and a world war at worst i'm repeating the words again he also added that it threatens to bring a new cold war era at best and a world war at worst now mind it it is probably not the last time that such a proposed deal between china and pacific islands will be brought back by beijing they will try their level best and even with this meeting they have gained a lot i will tell you later on and china is expected to ramp up its diplomatic commercial economic logistic people to people effort to get these kind of deals for obvious strategic reasons and the fact that china is developing devoting its resources in this region speaks about china china's intentions even in this visit china has gained in samoa uh, mr wang he signed an agreement to build a police fingerprint laboratory try to understand what they are making police fingerprint laboratory to complement a china funded police training academy they are already running a you know, chinese funded police training academy now what type of training they must be giving to those uh, police people you can understand now they are also providing them a fingerprint laboratory so that they can do what china is doing in its uh, uh, in xinjiang or hong kong with kiribati where a key fishing ground a big fishing ground the size of california you can say is on stake and kiribati's government said afterwards the two nations had signed 10 agreements ranging from cooperating on economic goals to building of a specific bridge so china is expanding its feet in this region and uh, need not to talk about solomon islands we all know we have discussed n number of times that solomon islands the nation of solomon islands and especially its president right now is in chinese pockets so the game is not over it has just begun and we must be very cautious rather than celebrating it thank you